feel like Zendaya smells like baby powder. Hello everybody and welcome back to After Advent Season. <laughs> we're still, it's still happening, we're still going, but look how short the stack's getting. That's progress. Today we're doing the Lancome Advent Calendar, which we've never done before on the channel. And honestly, I'm pretty excited about it because they make my favorite mascara of all time. I got 70 tubes sitting around here. Surely I can find one. Oh, here, the, <laughs> the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Uh, ignore the little red nail polish bands that I painted around it. I just wanted to let myself know this is this one's empty. Why didn't I just throw it away? I, I don't know. <laughs> Instead, I was like, oh, it's empty. Don't, this was not the one you use. Instead of just chucking it. This calendar was $144 and it boasts a $635 value. There's just be 24 beauty surprises on the inside, but only five full size products. So that's not like the best ratio of full sizes to like either minis or samples, but at least there's five full things. Some calendars can't even say they got any full sizes. Some calendars got none. It also has a 253 reviews on the Lancome website with a 4.6 star rating. So at least on their website, people seem to be liking it. So let's go ahead and get on into the Lancome advent calendar for the first time on the channel. Hey, there's a little sleeve. Y'all, oh my goodness, don't look at the back. I literally had not noticed the entire time, but like the pictures of everything that's in here, I think are on the back. So we're just gonna... Oh! Fun way to open it. Oh, this little tabby guy here, like that. Oh, what fun configuration! I honestly goodness thought all of this was about to just come crashing out of this calendar because it's all like configured so differently. But this is so cool looking. I had no idea this is what it looked like on the inside. That's kind of beautiful. I truly and honestly, in all of the like hundreds of advent calendars we've done at this point, I've never seen a configuration like this. It reminds me of like a cityscape, like a cityscape against the night sky. I think this is really, really pretty. And uh, yeah, I'm impressed so far. All right, so let's begin here with day number one. That might be a little tiny bit difficult to get into like this. Ooh, this feels heavy. Ooh, okay. So the first thing we are starting off here with is a little perfume. I don't know. Okay, this is the La Vey Est Belle. I know I'm absolutely butchering that. I'm so very sorry, but uh, I'm really excited to smell it. Mm. It smells like Lancome perfume. Does that make sense? Like it smells like the Lancome counter at Macy's. Also, do you guys say Lancome or Lancome? I feel like Lancome is fancier sounding, but uh, my Kentucky mouth just wants to say Lancome real bad. You know, that's not as strong as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really kind of overpowering, but it's almost a little bit on the light side. I'm trying to define the words to describe it, but all I can describe it as this is like the Lancome perfume. <laughs> the fragrance of happiness is how they explain it. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. I'm so, I, it's starting to envelop the room a little bit more now. And it's a bit stronger than I originally thought. They describe it as a floral gourmand bouquet encapsulated in a crystal smile. Butter. Sustainably sourced iris. Oh, iris butter. Not just straight up butter. I was like, French butter? That sounds real nice. The top notes are iris. So it has kind of that, like floral scent to it and then earthy patchouli and sensual warm vanilla. Uh, yeah, I think it actually smells good. It does, it is a little bit strong. It's not like a super incredibly unique scent or anything to me, but it has like a nice like floral scent to it without being too overpoweringly floral. I think like the vanilla in there and the patchouli and the butter, not the butter, there is no actual butter, unfortunately. All that kind of tones down like a really strong floral scent. So I think, I think it smells good. Day number two is up next here. This little door is looking a little on the smell side. Oh, but you know what? The product isn't that small. That's surprising. So next up here, we have a skincare product. This is a Hydra Zen Moisturizing and Soothing Gel Cream. I Okay, so right now my face definitely could probably use some soothing. I'm having a lot of issues. I'm fairly certain in this moment right now as I'm filming, I'm having an allergic reaction. So uh, as I was getting ready to film just a few minutes ago, I was slapping on makeup and stuff and uh, my face started burning real good. And I got all these little bumpies just all over my skin. But I was like, you know what? We've come too far <laughs> at this point for me to go and like wash my face off and stuff before I film this video. I'll do it after. It'll be fine. It's just some bumps on my face. I'm not having like, you know, I can't, I can breathe and stuff. So that's good. It sounds, I'm sure, lovely. <laughs> I probably should stop putting things on my face for just a little while, most likely. So it's just a little, exactly like they describe, like gel cream. It's a nice light pink, not scent. It's a nice light pink color. Oh, but there is scent in there. There is absolutely scent in there. Ooh, 
just out of curiosity, I really don't know how much Lancome stuff costs uh, besides the mascara, which is outrageously expensive and they raised it by a dollar. I'm so mad about that. Okay, it looks like the full size of it is $57. This definitely is not a full size. It's also smaller than I make it appear to be because like all of this thick plastic here is not product. This little half ounce portion here is 15 bucks. Before we move on, I would love to tell you about our sponsor, Helix Sleep. Sleeping is one of the things that I and Rin and Tater enjoy most. And Helix makes it even more enjoyable with their premium mattresses. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. I've had my Helix mattress for over two years now and I love it. It has improved my sleep so much. I used to wake up super stiff and sore but since switching to Helix that doesn't happen anymore. I've also been partnering with Helix for quite some time as you guys know and I think it's so cool to see your all's comments saying that you guys have tried Helix as well and you have been loving your mattress. One thing I personally love about Helix mattresses is that unlike other brands Helix mattresses contain no fiberglass which can be harmful to your health. Helix also knows that everyone is different and to ensure you get the best mattress for you they made a slip quiz to match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. I personally am a side sleeper who likes a super soft cloud-like mattress and I share my mattress. So sleep quiz matched me with the Helix Sunset Lux and I think it is the perfect choice. Me and my husband are sleeping so comfortably on our Helix mattress. It's so soft but also so supportive in all the right places. Helix has also launched their Elite mattresses which are the most high-end mattress collection yet. With your Helix mattress you get a 100 night sleep trial. You also get a 10 year warranty and their financing options and flexible payment plans. And the best part about all this is that Helix will deliver your mattress to your door for free within the US. It comes rolled up in a box, super easy to set up all by yourself. I set up my king size mattress all by myself and it was really easy. Can you guys hear that? As I'm unwrapping the plastic, it's starting to puff up with air. I personally really enjoy my mattress and if you think you would too, be sure to check out Helix. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com to Alexandria to get 20% off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. And just thank you so very much to Helix for sponsoring this video and your continued support of the channel. It means the world to me. Moving right along here to day- oopsies, am I ripping it? Move along to day number three. Ooh, pretty and purple. Again, the same kind of like thick outer plastic with a smaller inside. Eight hey, Next up here we have a Renergy. Renergy? It's an it's an anti-aging cream. A high performance anti-aging cream with HPN 300 peptide cream. It also is kind of fragranced. That smells kind of like the Pond's Cold Cream a little bit. Yep, just a little bit of cream in there. This also sounds like it could be kind of expensive and fancy because it's like an anti-aging cream and there's 300 peptide, whatever that might be. Renergy. Ooh, okay, this one is a bit more expensive than the last pot of cream. 2.6 fluid ounces of it is $185. One ounce of it is $97. We got a half ounce of it here, so whatever half of 97 is. For $48? $48.50 for <laughs> this little guy right here. My goodness. Alrighty, day number four is up next. Oh, let's unwrap in a little bit of tissue paper. So cute. I love itty bitty little, little tiny things, like tiny versions of big things. Love it. So next up here, unfortunately, it doesn't tell me at all what it is. Does it say it on the bottom real, real small? Oh my gosh, the smallest it could possibly be. Oh, there's not a chance. I would just look at the information on the back of the box, but like literally the end, everything in the advent calendar, there's just a big picture of it on the back. So I don't want to spoil all the surprises. It's a perfume. It's an itty bitty little baby perfume. Let's go ahead and smell it, see what it smells like. That's a lot. I, I just, I spilled a lot on that piece of paper. My goodness. <laughs> oh, that's powdery. Whoa, that's powdery. Okay, unfortunately, I don't know what perfume this is, but the top note of it is just, it's baby powder. It's Johnson & Johnson baby powder. <laughs> That's, that's the first and almost only thing I smell. That is an incredibly powdery perfume. If you really enjoy it, like a nice kind of baby powder, super powdery, a little bit potentially floral. I think there could be some floral in there amongst the baby powder. But if you enjoy just like straight up baby powder scent, whatever this is, that it'll it'll do it for you. Day number five down here is like a long door on the ball. Oh, it pulls all the way out. That's fun. Ooh, we have a mascara. And unfortunately, it's not the Monsieur Big mascara. I'm, I'm cr fingers crossed that we get a Monsieur Big in here because like I said, they're like 30 bucks. Sorry for yelling. They used to be $29, which was already outrageous for mascara, and then they raised the price a dollar. <laughs> it kind of hurt my heart a little bit. This is the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. I personally, I've never heard about mascara from them before. Hypnose. That's an interesting choice <laughs> in the name. Uh, so it has a very, very straight wand to it. Kind of on the thinner side. I do prefer typically a more fluffy wand, but I like the little bristles that are on this one. Right, day number six is right above day number five. It also pulls out. There's a little stick in here. Ooh, I think we got a lipstick. Just a little baby lipstick. I feel like whatever's going to be in here is going to be like super classic things. So I'm feeling like this is going to be a red. It says it is a drama matte lipstick. So let's see what the color is. Boop. 
Well, <laughs> it is kind of a red and you can tell on my knuckle there uh, because I accidentally drug it through the top of the lipstick as I was un unraveling it, unveiling it. It's a really pretty shade. Honestly, it's a lot more deep and intense. It looks like there's a lot more brown tones in person than it does on camera, but um. <laughs> Okay, well, when I actually kind of smear out the shade there a little bit, you can really see all the pigments in it. It does look like there's a lot of orange in this, like a like a fair amount of orange. More orange than I probably personally am comfortable with. I do feel really bad that I just knuckled straight into it. Because <laughs> I definitely am going to be passing this along to somebody else, so now there's just going to be like a, you know, a knuckle in it. In it. Alrighty, folks, day number seven is up next here. Another little pull outdoor. Ooh, looks like we can have a full-size lipstick. I really like the packaging on this one. I like this kind of toned down like beigey rose goldish shade with the gold accents. I think that looks pretty. Oh, there's a little gold rose on the top. That's nice. This is a French cashmere lipstick. That sounds super, super nice. Super, super nice. It's real own. The top is the button. The, 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 the top is the button that opens the bottom. I, I was anticipating it being one of those that you push on the bottom and it pops out, but no. Jeebus, what is wrong with me? Ooh, this looks like a really nice shade. I'm liking the gold little component there. And when you roll it up, it says Lancome. That's super nice. Like, that almost looks like bright kind of reddish orange. That's interesting that there are two kind of very orange undertone looking lipsticks in here. I feel like if this one was to be swatched, it would definitely get a lot of those same kind of tones. All right, day number eight is up next over here. Okay, I did. I do really like how the calendar is set up just because it's something different. I like that they weren't afraid to take some risks with this calendar and just kind of shove boxes every which way in there, but it does make it the tiniest bit hard to open. It looks cool though. It looks cool though. So I'll sacrifice the easiness of openness, the ease of opening for some cool looking box display. I am also opening it like behind me while not looking, so. A couple of obstacles I'm facing there. Yeah, of course. Of co well, okay, honestly, kind of, of course, because I feel like Lancome's thing is to have a rose on everything. So the next thing we have here is a softening, hydrating toner with rose water, of course. It's not awful. This doesn't smell horrific. <laughs> it doesn't smell like the Mario Badescu rose water or anything like that. It's definitely not as strongly rosy as I was anticipating it being. There's definitely a, like a botanical kind of scent in there. It almost doesn't smell floral. It smells more like greenery botanical. So that makes sense. Actually, <laughs> I feel like it might smell like real roses. Cause I personally, even though I absolutely detest rose scent in things, I think a nice like fresh bouquet of roses, it smells really good. It smells nice. This almost has more of that scent of like a fresh cut rose rather than like a rose extract. All right, day number nine is over here. Another little slide outdoor. It knows drama. Oh, okay. So I think we have another little mascara here. Unfortunately, it's not a monster big. Hypnos must be some type of line of makeup that they have. This time we just have a little mini or maybe travel size mascara. Oh, it's in the shade excessive black. <laughs> not just regular old black, excessive. Ooh, I like the wand of this. That's the kind of wand I like. It's got a little bit of a bend to it. I typically don't go for a bendy wand, but this one has a bit of a dip, but it has big, nice, fluffy bristles. I want it to look like basically this tree back here. See how they could be cousins. I do kind of wish now that this one was the full size and the other one was the mini uh, because I feel like I might like this one better. And I also like the idea of an excessively black mascara. Sometimes I feel like mascaras can have a bit of a grayish tone to them even if they say that they're black. So I like that one's supposed to be really, really dark. Day number 10 down here in the corner, another little pull out door. These are kind of fun. It's another mascara. It's a lot of mascaras. Okay, <laughs> so next here we have the Lash Idol from Lancome, which I do believe I've heard of this mascara before, at least like the Idol things. I feel like there's a lot of Edol stuff <laughs> from Lancome. Oh, okay. This one's glossy black. That's kind of interesting. Typically, if I'm going for like an eyeliner or something, I want it to be super, super matte, but I've never really thought about like making my eyelashes shiny. That could be, I could like that, I think maybe. I'm hungry. I just started a gluten-free diet and I think my body misses the gluten so very dearly. I started it like today and it's already like, oh my gosh, please put bread on me. Anywho, <laughs> I just can't get it off my mind. I'm just so hungry. It's all I'm thinking about. Uh, the next day here, we have day number 11. Oh, another liquid. Yeah, of course. All right, we have another rose liquid here, but the last rose liquid didn't smell disgusting. So maybe this one will be fun too. This is the Absolute Rose 80. It is a brightening and revitalizing toning lotion, which using the word lotion for just a pure liquid is just different to me. It's just real different. I'm sure in the skincare world, that is absolutely normal. It makes total sense. But like to me, lotion's like a thick white pasty. Thing. All right, let's go ahead and sniff it and see if it smells gross. I like that one less. 
I don't like that one. No, I don't like that one. There's something about this one that almost smelled like a natural kind of scent. But this one kind of burns my nostrils. Okay, no, that's definitely not my favorite scent. I haven't been checking the prices on any of these things. I'm assuming the mascaras full size are probably like, probably 30 bucks, to be honest, because that's how much you pay for Lancome mascaras. Why did I think like a full size of this was gonna be like 30 bucks and that was gonna be expensive? The full size of this five ounces is $120. This is like $40 of liquid. I don't care how many years I've been doing this or how many years I will be doing this, the outrageous price of skincare will never cease to amaze me. Tell me if this is nearly $50, this is $40, like that is outrageous to me and it will, it will never make sense. It just, it won't, it won't happen. And I understand that we're opening up a box worth like 600 and something dollars so like it should make sense up in the noggin that these things are going to be expensive items especially since a lot of them are not full sizes but at the same time <laughs> i just can't grasp it 12 12 is up next we're like halfway through this oh it's a little stick i'm assuming it's going to be an eyeliner oh just the littlest italy sabidius baby of the lancome neor eyeliner which i'm sure is an outrageous price for just some black eyeliner that you have to sharpen oh also i've been saying neor this isn't my entire life. I was gonna say this whole time, but no, it's been my entire life. It's noir, like film noir. But every time I see a daggone makeup product <laughs> with those letters, N-O-I-R, noir, every time. 15 is up next. Another thing, a liquid. Okay, so the next thing we have here is a comforting makeup removing milk with honey and something else in it, almond oil. That's real nice. <laughs> that sounds like it's gonna smell really good as well. Oh, it's also for dry skin. That's nice. Maybe this is something I could actually think about adding into my routine or at least trying out because I do need something to take off my makeup with and I like the idea that it says comforting because my skin needs some comfort right about now. <laughs> Plus it's for dry skin so all that sounds really good. It does smell nice. It also smells like my grandma. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that also is comforting. To me that doesn't really smell like honey or almonds or anything like that. It just smells again a little bit powdery but just like a nice kind of soft powdery lotion. <laughs> Moving right along to day number 14. Oh, a little robbery thing. Okay, I do believe that I have tried this before because of we got you used to get Sephora and Macy's. There's a sentence in there somewhere. We used to get this Sephora Play and like the Macy's uh, little subscription box things and I feel like they potentially sent these to us before in that or it was like the Macy's advent calendar. So at some point for Macy's I've received this. This is the Advanced Genifique Concentrate and I do believe this is a fairly pricey item especially the full size. Yeah yeah the full size of it is $135 because that's normal. 0.67 fluid ounces of it is the smallest that they sell on the website and it's 60 bucks for that and then we have like basically half of that so this is like 30 dollars. Oh well you know what I gotta stop trying. Once my skin recovers a little bit because it is just incredibly sensitive right now uh maybe I will try out some of these items because this one says it's supposed to strengthen the skin's protective moisture barrier for healthy glowing skin and I'm sure my moisture barrier is just unmoist at this point. Hopefully it's still somewhat existent, but once things like calm down a little bit, like the, that could actually be really nice. All right, dig it in here for day number 15. All right, smaller than I anticipated from that door. Ooh, we have an eye cream and a very pretty pot. I like this really like shiny gold little pot. This is the Absolute Revitalizing Eye Cream. And this looks incredibly familiar. I feel like we probably received this in another advent calendar at some point this year. Looks like a pretty nice thick little pot of cream there. 150 bucks for the full size. You know, just one, but just a half ounce of it, just one half ounce, $150. And we have 0.6 fluid ounces here. So I'm sure that's, that's a decent amount of money for this little pot. But uh, you know, an eye cream, it does last a long time. So yeah, I could, this I could probably give a try. My eyes, it circles around my eyes. They, they, they seem fine. The skin there seems okay. So I wouldn't care to try out an eye cream, especially a super fancy one like this. Moving right along to day number 16 here, kind of a bigger door that was taped together for some reason. <laughs> There's little glue dots on it. Oh, more liquid. Okie dokie. Uh, next up here, we have a rehydrating cup comfort toner. How many different types of toners and liquids and milks and lotions can you put on your face at one time? All right, you know the drill. We got to smell it, see if it smells good. Hmm, that doesn't smell that bad. Kind of lightly floral, maybe a little, almost kind of fruity. Day number 17, day number 17 is up next here. I'm wondering if we're going to get any like more makeup products, like maybe powder makeup products. We have several mascaras, we got an eyeliner, a lipstick, but I'm pretty sure Lancome also has like blushes and things like that as well. So it'd be nice to see those in there. We do have two kind of like flat days here, which are kind of fun. So let's see what we have for day number 17. Oh, another little tiny pot. Oh, okay. Another eye cream. So this time from the Jennifer Klein, we have yet another eye cream, but this one is a youth activating and light infusing eye cream. So that sounds real fancy. It's the Jennifer Fique Yukes. 
Or maybe there's no X pronounced you. Oh wow, this one's like a bargain. I thought this one was gonna be really expensive, uh, but the half ounce of this is only $82 and not $150. Savings galore. But it's supposed to instantly smooth fine lines, target wrinkles and dark circles over time for visibly brighter eyes. That all sounds really lovely. You know, two eye creams in one advent calendar, but they both seem, they both seem pretty nice. You know, pretty nice, as in $150 for half ounce. Ooh, exciting. Okay, so day number 18 is one of the little pull out drawers here at the bottom, so really excited to see what's in this. And we have a little palette here. This could be really fun. This is one of the Hypnose palettes. So I guess they have like an entire extended line of Hypnose stuff. I don't 100% know like what that means. This is the French Nude palette for natural to dramatic looks. There's supposed to be five highly pigmented and long wear eyeshadows in here. I'm sure this is really, really nice. There's something about this. <laughs> I know this is not like a drugstore eyeshadow palette, probably by any means. I'm sure this is very expensive, but something about this, like just the entire way it's set up, how the pans look, the applicators, the thing on the mirror, the little eye diagram, does this this not just take you back to like drugstore eyeshadow palettes like from the 90s? I'm sure there are still a lot of palettes that look just like this like with the little foam tip applicators and stuff and like how to apply it things like that but it just it really reminds me of like my mom's makeup kit like my first kind of experiences with makeup. I don't, there's just something very like nostalgic about this packaging how they've laid everything out and like tell you where to put everything. <laughs> I think it's cute. I think the name makes perfect sense for the palette like a very nude look. Um, it's a very kind of an everyday palette. You just have like a range of creams to almost like a pinkish in the center with some deeper browns here at the end. I think there's just one shimmer there in the center uh, but it looks like a very easy to wear easy to use kind of palette especially because I tell you precisely how to put it on your eyeballs. 19 is tucked away over here in the corner. Ooh, okay, we see our first squeezy tube here, but it's a nice size squeezy tube. Oh, okay, so it looks like we have a lotion version of the first perfume that we got, the La Vie Estee Belle. I'm, I'm, again, I'm just so sorry. Um, so I guess this is just, you know, a lotion version of the scent. If you really, really enjoy it, then you get, you know, you two ways. You can wear it two ways. Alrighty, 20 is up next, getting kind of close to the end of the calendar here. Oh, we got another little shiny gold pot. Ooh, Ooh, this one's heavy. This looks kind of nice. This is heavy. This has some like heft to it. <laughs> so we have the Lancome Absolute Soft Cream and just the really pretty shiny gold packaging. I'm wondering if this is like not maybe the fullest, fullest size that they have, but like an actual sellable size on the website. It just looks so empty. All of these look so empty when you actually open them. Like that's cavernous in there. It does have a scent to it, but honestly, I kind of like it. That smells pretty good. Oh man. Okay. For a second, I thought this was the one ounce size of it. And I was about to say, holy crap, it's 165 dollars but this is a half ounce of the product which is still an unbelievable amount it's eighty two dollars it is eighty two dollars for this little pot of cream it's supposed to be an indulgent face cream i'd say so that smooths the look of fine lines while visibly brightening and firming the skin all that sounds wonderful and lovely that's pretty much what like every face cream ever in the entire invention of the universe says at this point um but i'm sure it's real good <laughs> it better be for how much it costs all right moving on here to 21 getting pretty close to the end Another little squeezy tube. Oh, is this the Idol? Does Idol just smell like baby powder? We have another little body cream here and the last body cream we got matched the first perfume So I'm wondering if like this is supposed to match the scent. It just says Idol La Power Cream scented body cream So maybe it's supposed to match like this one has a little black band around it. This has a black cap I feel like I see the Idol commercials all the time. Is it does it just smell like baby powder? What's it supposed to smell like? I'm watching Zendaya ride a horse right now. Why do I not feel like Zendaya smells like baby powder? Oh, okay, no, no, no. This, this, whatever this is, and this smell honestly entirely different to me. So this doesn't smell like baby powder. This could still potentially be in the Edol line. There could be different types of Edol perfumes. But I do definitely think that this and this don't smell anything alike. And I don't think Zendaya smells like this. I just don't. All right, day number 22 is up next year. That's enough ranting about Zendaya and baby powder. This also comes in a little bit of the heck is this? It was a little bit of this little bar of soap. Ooh, okay. From the horse riding commercial that I just saw, I think this is what Zendaya was advertising. This little bottle with the little top and everything look a lot like what she was holding up on the top of a mountain four years ago. Okay, that already smells a lot different than the last one. Very much so different. <laughs> okay, I think this and this are supposed to go together because this smells a lot like this. There's a lot more of like a juiciness to it. There's a bit of a spice. It's not powdery whatsoever. At least I don't think so. Um, definitely more floral 
florals to it. There are florals, but like that, that juice, a bit of spice comes through, and I, I don't, I don't mind this scent. I think it smells pretty good. There's a chance there might be a little bit of rose in there, which is preventing me from like really liking it, but um, it, it smells pretty good. Oh, exciting! At day number 23 is also a little flat pull-out drawer here, so I'm excited to see what we got. Oh, okay, not, not precisely what I was hoping for. I really was hoping for like a blush or a highlight or something else, another powder kind of makeup product. But instead, we have another little tiny lipstick. This time it is a cream lipstick formula. So let's go ahead and see what the color is. Is it another red-orange shade? Okay, I feel like I didn't do that, or did I? I don't think I did it that time. <laughs> there are little indentions in there. It almost looks like fingernail indents, but I don't think, I don't think it's me, I think I'm clean. But again, somehow I feel like they have given us the same exact lipstick in just three different formulas. And maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe they wanted to give you like a way to test out all the formulas, but at the same time, they could have done that with just different shades. You can still test out three different formulas with, with three different shades. But all of these honestly just seem like incredibly close, like a lot of orange undertones to them and things, which for me personally is like the most unfortunate color that they could have selected to continually put inside the advent calendar because that's one of my least favorites. Okay, I was just looking through some swatches online just to get you guys some comparison to all three of these lipsticks. Apparently French cashmere is it's the name of this lipstick and not <laughs> not like the type of lipstick. It is an Inity Matte. Oh, intimate. It's a play on words. Intimate. In intimate. Intimate. I think is what they're going for there. Wow. Okay, that took me a second. Anywho, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys like a comparison here of swatches of all three of the lipsticks on screen so you can see how really close they are. One of them is a bit more red than the rest of them, but honestly, like, they, they, that's a pre they're pretty similar. They're all versions of like warm kind of orange toned lipsticks. <laughs> but all right, you guys, that brings us to day number 24 here. I'm really excited to see what is in here. It's in a tall door in the middle. So I'm assuming it's gonna be some type of skincare product, but I'm excited to see what it is. Hopefully it's one of the five full-size items here on day number 24 because that to me personally makes sense, but we'll go ahead and see. Ooh, this could be nice. Would you look at that? It's a full-sizer. Is this and this just the same thing? Okay, this and this is just the same thing. I might think it might have been nice to not have the same exact product if you're gonna give one of the small itty-bitty guys and then one of the larger guys, but like this could be used for traveling if you don't want to take your big honker with you. Okay, well, I might have gotten a little excited. I might have got a little too carried away before I looked at all the information. Uh, so they have like five different sizes of those available, at least on the Ulta website. 3.8 fluid ounces of it is 260 bucks. But if we scroll all the way down here to the bottom to the 0.67 fluid ounces, which is what we have, this is $60, which I mean, that's still, I'm not complaining. <laughs> that's very nice. You pay 144 for the calendar and you're getting 60 bucks back of it in one product. I think that's pretty nice. And it's like, it's a good product too. It has 13, 13 yeah, 13,254 reviews with a 4.7 star on the Ulta website, at least. I mean, that's, that's nice. So I like that we're ending with a fuller size, maybe not the biggest version, but a fuller size of a product and a pretty expensive product and what appears to be a really nice product. So yeah, not too bad, not too shabby to end the final day here on. All right, you guys, that is everything in the Lancome Advent Calendar for 2023. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'm gonna give you a little product overview here. So you guys can kind of visualize everything that came in the calendar for $144 and help make up your mind if you think it's worth it or not. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's not worth it? I'd love to know all your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments and uh, that's all happy guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me and Rin and Tater. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!